Noble Plastics was founded with a very basic idea. Honest dealing with people, give them what they expect, do what you say you're going to do. We're contract manufacturers. And what that means is we will provide a variety of services to people. And so when we started the company, um, we didn't necessarily have contracts in place prior to developing our machinery capabilities. The first robot we ever bought, we didn't have a job for it. So we bought one not having a contract because we weren't going to win the contract if we didn't have the equipment and the familiarity. And once we became familiar and developed some expertise in-house and start to look at the versatility that they could provide to us, the consistency and repetitiveness of the process, uh, we began to win work where that mattered. Things have to be perfect over a run of a million units, or maybe they'll come back you know, a year later after they haven't run anything in a while, and we have to be able to pull that process back up and ensure that it's, we're making parts exactly the same as we did the first time. In some ways, it's almost better that there's been a winnowing of American manufacturing because what's coming back is stronger than it's ever been. In a global marketplace, relationships are important, but you have to have the quality that goes with that. Automation for us gives us a consistent, reliable process. Vision and robots are just part of how we ensure that every part is treated like every other part. And that gives our customers the best result. Some customers ask the question, hey, don't your employees, don't the robots make your employees nervous that they're gonna take their job one day? And the answer is no. Our employees really drive the use of those systems and the expansion of those systems into other areas. We want to develop that expertise in-house. It enhances the value of our employees for their own good. It gives them more tools in their tool belt, but it doesn't hurt Noble Plastics to do that because we created a culture where we think people want to be. And so I'm not worried about that expertise walking out of the door. They tend to stay and bring more like-minded people because they see that we're investing in them. And it does create a reciprocal arrangement. They're invested in us. The robots allow us to run a third shift lights out and still keep our production rates high. For me, I get to go home, I get to see my family, and not have to man those shifts. We used to have a buzzword, exploit technology, not people. Low cost labor exploits people. Efficient manufacture exploits technology. And that's what we do here. 14 years later, here we are. We can't imagine putting in a manufacturing cell without automation.